Hi everyone, meteorologist Robert Spetta here with you on the 28th of November 2019 and we now have our latest typhoon of the 2019 season. This is Typhoon Kamori now passing past Guam and starting to head off towards the Philippines here. And if you take a look at the bigger picture, still got a lot of convection at the center of circulation, a secondary trough trying to develop behind it. But overall, this is a lot of serious outflow associated with our next cold surge that's going to be coming down from the south. And at first, I thought maybe this might hook this off and pull it towards the northeast. But now it seems less and less likely that that will take place, meaning the Philippines probably will be impacted by this. Winds right now, though, are at typhoon intensity. According to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, 65 knots gusts up to 80 pressure now at 980 hectopascals or millibars. Winds are moving west, or currently it is moving west at 8 knots. There's another look at infrared satellite imagery. A lot of that convection blowing up in the center. Convection actually starting to wrap around pretty decently. Let's change up our color here so you can see this a little bit better. Or decently from the north and west. Plenty of it towards the east, but there's your center of circulation right in there. And once this gets wrapped around completely, that's when I do anticipate this to really start to churn on the jet engines and continue to intensify. Winds right now, though, are at 65, gusting upwards of 80 knots. It is expected to continue continue to strengthen up to typhoon or a stronger typhoon and nearing super typhoon intensity as we go ahead into the weekend and the early part of next week, eventually nearing the Philippines by the time we head into the 3rd to the 4th of December. I know that the SEA games start on, I believe, the 30th. Somebody might have to correct me if I am incorrect on that. They start on the 30th. And are in Manila here, so any storm on a track like this definitely will have an impact on those games, and where it's really really going to keep a close eye on this. A tendency for these storms as they enter the Philippine Sea is what I like to call the Philippine Sea effect. Uh, very warm sea surface temperatures out here, upwards about 30 to 32 degrees, believe it or not. Wow, look at that handwriting. Uh, so that allows for a lot of fuel, for a lot of intensification with this. So likely will be impacting Luzon from the 2nd through the 4th. Potential dangerous landfall there, especially if it impacts southern Luzon, northeastern areas, the Cagayan uh, region, um, used to getting storms and it is very rural but definitely down towards Legaspi uh, it is much more prone to damage and flooding and a uh, little chance of this recurving now mainly based on this setup here now this is looking ahead into Friday evening uh, as it starts to pull towards the north the surge is going to be setting up behind it and you get this cold just towards the northeast of that center of circulation this is counterintuitive to pull it towards the north and east since this is going to be pushing just enough far enough west from that high pressure center so even the latest ECMWF uh, ensembles really have all of this concentrated towards the west. I know the last few days, if you've been watching my updates, there was a lot of lows off towards the north and east like that. But now it really has settled on a westward track. So this tells me that the model is confident, not only just showing you what the general consensus is, but it's confident show you what the models are generally saying right now and really the GFS and the ECMWF kind of in agreement on a southern Luzon, Luzon landfall I think basically from southern Luzon all the way up through central areas of the islands where this is going to be coming on shore but this is the latest from the GFS model I'll switch this up and over and show you what the ECMWF is indicating with these winds I mean at this time this is upwards about 40 to 60 I mean look at that that's 67 knots in the center of circulation around that. Um, of course, this be coming with a storm surge from that, especially coming in from the north to this nears. Then as we go ahead into Tuesday, wrapping around and it would push on shore. And really the right front quadrant, that's this area right there, is where the hardest locations that would be hit. Now, granted, this is about five days out from the model. I know the models are in agreement. They've been pretty consistent for now, but uh, I think at this time, really everybody across the eastern seaboard of Luzon really, really, really needs to pay attention to this. And of course, I'm going to have another video update tomorrow, about 12 hours from now. I'll put another one out and I'll keep you guys posted on how this continues to develop.
do not want to get too far ahead of myself, but just based on this overall foil, this is going to be a slow mover, kind of like that, and eventually cruising towards the west, mainly a result of this high pressure area coming in from the north. So yeah, that's pretty much what's gonna be setting up right now, guys. So uh, those of you across Luzon, keep an eye on it, and not just keep an eye on it, but really actually, I think at this point, preparations, start to get prepared. Uh, especially Southern Luzon, you have to get prepared at this time. Um, I know it stinks, but uh, sometimes it's better to be prepared and have nothing happen than be unprepared. And, and, and that's when we talk about people getting killed, and we don't want that. So, yeah, stay safe out there, guys. I'm going to have another update soon. As always, thanks for watching.